Welcome back again. I have made two videos so far. This is my third video, and I still don't know how to start things off. I am getting better, I think, but regardless, here we are. So, at the end of the last episode, you may have been asking, what's the deal with those villagers? Did he say eight best armor? Yes, I did. Let me introduce my four-step plan real quick. To make eight of the best armor in the game, you need a lot of shulker boxes. You need a lot of shulker boxes so that you can move your merchandise, bring it all over to your enchanting station, um, preferably the one right next to our XP farm. That way you're able to enchant away and then refill up on all your levels because you will inevitably run out of levels. And it makes the whole thing super easy if you're just all right there at the XP farm. So step one is to collect shulker boxes. Step two is to pack up and move. Um, like I said, we need shulker boxes so that we can pack it all up nice and organized. I want to lump in all of the individual pieces of armor and individual gear pieces with the enchantments that they need. And that way we can keep it all nice and organized and make sure that I don't mess up the enchanting. Step three enchant everything. This is going to be very level heavy, so as I mentioned, we will be doing this in the end, right next to our XP farm, where we can make sure that we never run out of levels and we can get the whole thing done. And then, finally, we need to put it on display. This is going to be a little trickier than the others, and it might actually come first, <laughs> which you may think, that doesn't make sense. How is that going to work? To that I say... Movie magic. No. <laughs> um, what I'll have to do is build the nice display room first. I am picturing something very Tony Stark-esque. If you remember his ye old basement of his where all of his armor was on display um, before his house got blown up in Iron Man 3. That's what I'm picturing. However, that doesn't really fit in with uh, my base aesthetic much. So maybe I'll have to build a new one. I don't know. Um, when I built Mount Double Stake, I named it Double Stake because, well, I've, as I explained before, Taco Bell. Um, but I wanted that to just kind of symbolize that this is going to be my space. Uh, I didn't want to confine myself with any sort of building aesthetic or specific theme or anything like that. I just wanted this to be a space where anything I wanted to build could be built. Um, obviously, that did not quite hold. I have definitely gone all in on a certain kind of look, but maybe that's not too late. Maybe I just plop down a Stark style mansion next to it and go from there, but I don't know. I'll, I'll keep thinking about this and I'll figure it out. But anyway, those are the four steps that we are dealing with today. Not today. I definitely won't be able to do this all in one episode. All right, time for a quick check-in. Um, I've been working away at preparing the display room, and I decided instead of building a new mansion off like next to this area, I would just add on another section down here. Um, so I have been digging this out, and I've been trying and failing and until I finally got it here, but just making a nice big old satisfying looking circle. Um, I wanted it to be nice and visible from everywhere else down here. Um, I didn't want to just have like a little hole in the wall and you go through the hole in the wall and bam, there it is. I wanted it to be like, I wanted this to feel like this whole section just opened up back there into the uh, Hall of Armor. Um, and I think I definitely will give this one a, a nice center center spot, probably like right there on the wall. Um, but yeah, so we did actually dig into the, uh, the cave down here where I, I took you for the little base tour in that first episode. See that? Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to keep working on this. I got to decide like a a cool floor pattern. I'm looking at some reference photos and it looks very dark. Um, lots of like darker floor paneling and then like a nice little raised central spot there in the middle for Tony to stand on while his armor flies to him and everything. But I feel like I might kind of want to go lighter. So I'll, I'll try a few different things and then check back with you when I've got something. 
All right, progress update. Um, I've got more armor stands, and that's about it. <laughs> I started putting the floor down, um, but I don't really know quite how I want it to look. So I'm kind of at the point now where I'm hitting a wall, and I need to take a break because I don't want to try and force anything. So I'll keep on working on this, and I'll bring you right back into it. No? I just said I would take a break. Okay, well, I'm going to go take a break, find a quick thing to eat, I'm sure, and then then I'll keep working on this, and I'll bring you back into it. Okay, it is time for an update. I've been working on it for a little bit now, um, and I, I kind of like it, actually. I think I need to bring a little bit more color into it, but let me show you what it is, and let me know what you think. So here we are. You walk in, and obviously the roof's not finished yet, but here we go. Here's that raised platform in the middle like I was talking about, uh, where you can have all your armor fly at you if you were Iron Man, but I am not Iron Man. Um, here it is. Uh, here it all is, going nice and around the room like that. Also, this is where all of the uh, honeycomb comes out. Uh, so I guess I can have a little bit of nice access to that in here too. Uh, anyway, this is what I've got. Um, I'm kind of thinking I want to bring some of the blue accent back up in like a nice little ring around the uh, roof here before I just cover it up with more white. Um, that's what I'm thinking. But anyway, I think it's really coming together though. A nice smooth transition from the floor into the wall into the ceiling again. Uh, I think it's very futuristic and that's exactly what I was going for. I might have to like work on this transition a little bit. I might just put some more uh, of these slabs like here and here just to like make a nice distinct separation between the two because I don't know if there's any way to like nicely neatly blend um, whatever's going on here fantasy style stuff with uh, futuristic style stuff but that's okay anyway i'm proud of it and uh, i can't wait to to finish it up but this is where all of the super armor is going to go uh, once it's all enchanted up and ready to go but of course like i said we're going out of order because i need somewhere to put the stuff first because i don't want to just have it all like chilling in the shulker boxes after it's all been enchanted only for nothing to really happen with it so here's this nearly complete and i will try and finish it up today and here we are that's the hall of armor complete i am really proud of it actually i think like the nice modern looking stuff i guess i say modern i really just mean quartz and bright colors and stuff like that but I think it really came together well. Um, I've got matching circles in the floor and in the ceiling. I guess this is dark, that's just bright, but that's okay. Maybe I'll switch that out later, but I'm, I'm really proud of it. Um, I As I was building it, I was thinking like, mm, maybe this is a little bit too much white, so I wanted to bring in some, some of that color back up into the ceiling. So I put that nice blue ring around the top there. Uh, there is our armor that we wore the first time I fought the Ender Dragon in this world. Uh, right there, front and center. A nice memorable, or memorable spot right there in the middle of everything. Um, and yeah, we're going to have all of our different suits of armor here. And I will work on that probably next episode. Like I said, um, I definitely am not able to do all of this in just one straight go. I've got a, a full-time job and it's not content creation. Um, but here it is. I think I'm off to a great start. So the Hall of Armor project is well underway now. Next up, I just need the armor, but that'll have to be next time. But anyway, thank you again so much for watching and uh, for tuning into this one. I haven't 
seeing just how long this one's going to be just yet. Um, I don't expect it'll be quite as long as the other tour videos that I've done, but we'll see. I guess if you're watching now, you already know. And if you made it to the end, then you know better than anybody else. But anyway, thanks so much, and I guess I'll, I'll see you next time. So that's the end of the video. <laughs> see ya.